Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and today... Shit! What the fuck? What the... Ugh. Jose Canseco? Is that... Fuck. What's going on, Gorilla? I think I went blind. Hold on. There we go. Not blind, stupid ass. The power went out. Must be this thunderstorm. Well, what do we do now? Want to play some video games? The power's out. Well, I guess we could watch a movie. The power is out. Or we could. How about I tell you a scary story? You can't scare me, Gorilla. I don't know if you know this, but I was a Navy SEAL, and they taught us to be brave. Did they teach you how to be an annoying asshole in the Navy SEALs? No, they actually taught us to be polite. Anyway, imagine beloved horror franchises being brought back. That sounds good. And imagine they made action figures for legendary characters like Jason Voorhees and Freddy Krueger based on the Masters of the Universe line. A horror-based Masters of the Universe line sounds pretty awesome. What's the problem? They're made by Funko. My God. In 1998, Funko started out as a small toy company producing, of all things, bobbleheads. If you remember those obnoxious Austin Powers bobbleheads that were floating around at the time, that was Funko. But what most people would know the company for is for their line of big-headed vinyl figures called Pops. Jesus, Funko Pops. I didn't really want to have to bring these up as they seem to stir up more controversy than the Dukes of fucking Hazard. But I would be remiss to mention Funko and not mention Pops. Now I'm kinda neutral on this one. I even own a few Pop figures. They're pretty neat actually. There's literally hundreds of these things and it seems like every facet of pop culture has been covered. From cartoons, to movies, sports, music, and TV. I get that people might be sick of seeing them all over the place, and all the booger eater collectors, scalpers, and whatnot that come along with any collecting craze, but to me, they're just harmless little collectibles that were made for a wide audience. They're not the best thing to ever exist, but they're by no means a terrible scourge either. Anyway, believe it or not, Funko makes other shit besides Pops. Sometimes that shit's even okay. They've been around for 20-something years, they should kind of know what they're doing by now. Which brings us to the Funko Savage World Horror Figures, released in 2018 and depicted horror icons from the 80s and 90s. Those icons in the line being Jason Voorhees, Michael Myers, Freddy Krueger, Leatherface, and Pinhead. I got them all, so let's check them out. Okay, so it's the Savage World Horror Figures um, by Funko. Who else? Um, now, taking a look at these boxes, it's super obvious what they were going for. If you're of a certain age, if you're not of a certain age, they just look like chunky pieces of shit, honestly. Um, if you don't remember Masters of the Universe, um, you know what, like, Masters of the Universe, I, I know some of you are thinking, it's like, well, who doesn't remember Masters of the Universe? I mean, they're re-releasing it right now, but... At the time, in 2018, when they were re-releasing these, I was working at a place that sold them. And uh, when the uh, uh, when those came out, when these came out, I had a lot of young people, a lot of people like in their you know in their early 30s, in their 20s, going, why, why does why why does Jason Voorhees look like like he's on steroids? Why does Leatherface look like he's on steroids? Why does Pinhead look like he's on steroids? Why does Freddy Krueger look like he's on steroids? And this is horror on steroids, um, as opposed to just calling it Savage World. They played with a few different you know, names for this crap. This is basically what the box looks like. It's kind of a vertical line, just like the old Masters of the Universe. 
They are set up so close to being Masters of the Universe. They should have came with a little comic book. That would have been kind of cool, honestly. I mean, look, if you're just going to go for that, that collector's market and, and try to do that, that'd be awesome. On the back, we've got the collect them all. Uh, you've got the five characters in the line. I've got them all right here. And then a whole third of the fucking uh, box dedicated to legal mumbo jumbo and you can you see here $14.99 at GameStop uh, once upon a time when I purchased this um, so we're gonna get these things open taking a look at the different characters before we do um, we have accessories Jason comes with an axe and a, uh, a machete or what looks like a sword in this and then things made out of bone and steel and leather um, it's all very road warrior um, masters of the university we have a chainsaw hand for old Leatherface um, and the mallet um, if you remember uh, the, the film he's got his apron on and not much more sexy Leatherface there he is with his big fucking guns and we'll see him once we get him out of the box um, we also see jacked up fucking pinhead on steroids um, with the puzzle box um, and a couple of uh, serrated knives there, a couple bread knives for uh, for Pinhead. Not super familiar with the Hellraiser movies. Um, this one is based on Hellraiser 3 for some reason. Um, don't fucking get me started on how fucking licensing works on these stupid things and what they can and can't get and can and can't do. Um, is this what he looked like in Hellraiser 3? I, I, it's been a while since I've seen a Hellraiser movie, but I don't remember um, the the Skeletor esque fucking design on on Pinhead's fucking gear. N never mind, moving on. Then there's fucking oh, uh, who can forget Freddy Krueger in his hood? He looks like fucking burn victim Zartan, and uh, we have this claw. It's, it kind of looks okay. We'll see it once it gets out of the box. That's all he comes with. Nothing else. Just the fucking claw. Um, and finally, um, Michael Myers with the fucking sleeves cut off. And he comes with a couple of, couple of kitchen knives for, for hack and action. Um, but let's not waste any more time on the stupid fucking packaging to these things. Uh, but one more thing. Halloween Resurrection. Is this the one with Busta Rhymes? Was this the one that Funko could get a fucking hold of? They're like, yeah. All right, so we'll we'll give you the rights to do toys for Halloween Resurrection. Well, then where's my Busta Rhymes figure? Anyway, let's get these goddamn things open and see what they look like on the inside. Okay, so let's start out with uh, Pinhead here. Let's play a game, or would you like to play a game, or whatever the fuck he says. Um, does he say anything? I don't know, let me know in the comments. Again, not super familiar with the fucking Hellraiser movies. Um, but he's not a bad looking figure altogether. I mean, if you look at these things in a vacuum, and if you didn't know what it was based on, you might think it was kind of cool. And it's kind of a neat idea on paper, but at the end of the day, like, what you get out of it is it's like this kind of knockoff fucking Masters of the Universe character. The limbs are super fucking like loose feeling already. I'm just opening these up and the limbs feel very loose. They feel very delicate. I'm wanting to take photos of these things, so I'm going to be kind of gentle with them for a change. Um, here's the fucking puzzle box. It's actually very shiny gold. It doesn't look like a piece of fucking cheese, which is fucking weird because usually in these cases, they do. They do look like fucking cheese. <laughs> so, um, when something needs to be gold, here it is. Um, it doesn't have like, it has a lot of detail on it, but it does only has the one sort of chromey gold paint application to it. But it is neat looking. Um, so, too bad he can't fucking hold it or anything. All right, and then there is Freddy Krueger. Um, Freddy Krueger's accessory was the claw. Um, it was very easy to attach. It just popped right onto the arm. Um, and it actually, like, dude, if he just had the hat, um, he actually wouldn't look bad at all. Uh, you know, he, they, they do have this sort of Incredible Hulk bursting out of their fucking clothes steroid freak fucking look to him but if that's what you're going for that's fine um this sort of barbarian look 
that's cool, um, but Freddy Krueger has a hat. He doesn't wear a hood, um, like a goblin, um, or, a, or a witch, um, and he's kind of evoking sort of that in that. Like, I know that the, the hat necessarily wouldn't go with, with this aesthetic, but neither would a fucking William Shatner mask. So <laughs> let's fucking move on to, uh, to our next figure. Oh, here's Jason Voorhees, and uh, this is gonna bring up one of the main problems I have with these things. They don't hold their fucking accessories properly. They're very loose in their hands. Um, you can kind of like balance them a little bit, but they, they don't really hold on to them. And this is like, as far as holding stuff is concerned, he might be the the second best. Uh, Leatherface holds his a little bit better, and you'll see why here next, but he comes with a hatchet, he comes with a machete that, you know, it's made out of bone. Um, they are cool looking, and this is not a bad sculpt. It's a cool fucking figure. They've got the six points of articulation, because they do have a waist as well. Um, they're not bad. They're not bad, really. Um, honestly, I thought I was gonna I really hate on these, um, but, but they're, they're kind of cool. Um, if you're kind of into this aesthetic like but most people uh, most people under 35 are gonna look at these things and be like well why why is Jason look like that what movie is that from and and at the end of the day you gotta have to explain it and it's gonna be like do you remember he-man and the matches of the universe and they're gonna be like fucking it's it would be like someone trying to explain I, I like Fucking Betty Boop or something to, to someone my age. I don't know. Fucking let's take a look at the next thing. Here is fucking Leatherface. Leatherface out of the characters in this is my favorite character. Um, as far as the figure though, he's okay. Um, he has like a little ball on his uh, wrist and you can hold his uh, chainsaw attach it or you can attach this mallet. He can also hold the mallet pretty well in his hand. It's a little loose in the hand, but this thing ain't going nowhere. It took a minute to get it on there. Um, and now that it's there, I'm not taking it off. He's gonna be chainsaw hand. He, it's the fucking Texas Chainsaw Massacre, not the chainsaw mallet fucking throwdown. Um, even though he does fucking wax some motherfuckers with mallets, he's got cool blood stains on the, uh, on the apron and his chest. Um, it looks like the apron is molded on, um, but yeah, it's molded on. He's got kind of like a fur fucking, uh, fucking thing underneath, some furry underwear, um, some boots, not unlike He-Man. It's a neat fucking figure. Honestly, these are pretty neat, but they, they, I don't know, dude, it's just a weird fucking concept. And finally, because this is the Halloween episode, we saved the Halloween guy for last. Halloween Resurrection, Michael Myers, um, who comes with his fucking, if you shake him a little bit, like his fucking, his daggers. Look at these, not the dad, he doesn't have daggers, he has fucking kitchen knives. Um, and he can barely hold them. He loosely holds his little kitchen knives in his hands. Um, he really only needed one. Um, but I guess they, they added one to give you some interest because here we have a, a, a figure with pale skin, a white face, and a blue outfit. And they did use two, or there he goes. He used two couple different kinds of blue on it, but really he is just kind of a fucking snooze fest. Um, a neat looking figure again, um, if you're kind of familiar with if you weren't familiar with fucking with Halloween, with the Halloween movie franchise, when you and you saw this, would it be that interesting to you? Would it be that interesting if you threw this into the Masters of the Universe line? Let me know in the fucking comments what you think of these things. Um, so that is the Savage World Horror Figures by fucking Funko. Well, that's about it for this episode, I guess. Wish the power would come back on. Yeah, because that wasn't very scary at all, Gorilla. I thought you were gonna talk about ghosts or something. Ghost? Pfft, that's bullshit. There's no such thing. What the hell was that? It sounded like the fanboy. Well, that's impossible. Well, why is that? Because he's dead, Jess. Dead? How did that happen? I'll tell you. Next time on the Dan Classic Show!
up, Duke. 